that I did this. It's the 29th now. That's like not even four days later. And I'd like to say that there was some confusion, except that I pointed it out, so I don't see what the confusion is. Now, Kimmy, I'm going to address this to you simply because you decided that you were going to go the immature route and decide to throw on a big hate-filled rant. And the funny thing is, I tried to actually spell it out to you, hey, this is not what you think it is. Calm down. And my exact, and my exact, uh, and your exact thing is you basically said, so why is it no other YouTuber supported the videos I made? Um, I feel a bit hurt because I thought we were on the same side, but you clarified that saying over and over just because we don't like her or what she doesn't mean you are cool with us or even like us for that matter. You know, trying to call me judgmental, holier than thou. Look, nobody's expecting you to be perfect or anything like that, but I just, the same day I said no. There, there, look, I'm calling out certain folks for overzealous behavior. Um, just because someone doesn't like Joy doesn't mean they and, I, they and I will get along. Shane and Jamie being big examples. Shane in particular, because he ran with this, this stupid stuff, and um, he just kept at it just to jump on something for the sake of his own bloody ego. You know, people being overzealous just to say, hey, we have a dog in this fight, just to throw a stone to say that they threw a stone. And you want to talk about overzealousness? Kimmy, I didn't say a damn thing about you. The safe spaces thing was handled incredibly poorly. Okay? But I didn't say a damn thing about you. You had nothing to do with that whatsoever. So going on there and blasting me in front of your fans... Just to have something to throw at somebody? Look, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be blunt and not and point about you. Uh, since you wanted to call me out, um, I'm gonna be blunt to the point about it. I don't have any further respect for you. Okay? Any respect that I had for you is gone. My thing is, look, I'm gonna take a week off, get past a lot of this shit, and then kind of figure out new directions that I want to go in and so on. I think what I want to do. And now I'm being told that I'm trying to supposedly get back in Katie's good graces? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me, let me spell it out for you real clear, okay? Um, she could come to my door with 80 grand right now. And I would tell her to go dry up. Well, no, I wouldn't tell her to go dry up and die. I would tell her to take a flying leap. That's what I would tell her. To take a flying leap. There is no amount of money in the world that will repair that friendship. There is no amount of sweet talking. No amount of, oh, this or that, that's going to repair that. That bridge is irreparably burned. Don't need none. Don't want none. So you can throw that damn accusation out the fucking window. I actually feel a little insulted by that one. Because that ain't happening. Now you can be pissed at me all you want, but your reasons are unfounded, unasserted, and they had no weight. This literally did not involve you, and you decided that you wanted to go off in the deep end loose ca cannon. When you do shit like that, people are going to lose faith and respect in you. And it's your own fault. I understand nobody's perfect, and that's fine, but I actually took the time to explain to you it has nothing to do with what you're claiming. Alright? What I mean when I say that just because someone doesn't like Katie doesn't mean that, they're, that they, they and I are going to get along. Jamie Fisher and I, neither one of us likes Katie. We don't get along at all. Some of the people that don't like her some, not all. And I have taken great pains to specify this. If you had taken a moment to actually sit and listen and not just react. So don't play these stupid head games. Get your emotions in check. Get your head in check. And don't, and leave me out of your stupid hatchet fight. Okay? Don't start shit my way. Because I didn't do a damn thing to you. I didn't say a damn thing to you except to try and clarify things. And even then, I was nice. Some dude came in a little bit ago and not even really realizing what you said. I was just like, okay, you know what? Let's just... 
I can understand people's reactions. You posted something and he didn't like it, cool, but at least keep it civil. Then I decide, you know what, let me see what this is about. And I'm being called a puss and accused of, like, removing stuff. I'm going to go check out the douche. I think it's called, let's take a good look at recently. I wonder if the puss took it down. This kind of bullshit is why you won't get taken seriously. This kind of bullshit is why people aren't going to really know what to say or to think, you know? You're just mucking things up with this bullshit. If we're all on the same side, then stop looking to pick a fight with other people around you. And that's all that bullshit was. You're talking trash about somebody that didn't do a damn thing to you. I try to be a pretty nice guy, if anything. Try to be. <sighs> so, you know, this is some serious bullshit. That video was simply, look, people are fucking things up by spreading misinformation. People are fucking things up by not actually taking the time to do the legwork. You basically heard special spaces, attributed it only to yourself, and went on an tangent about it. That kind of cherry-picking bullshit doesn't fly. Knock it off. Take a chill pill. And for the love of God, be centered before you go out another one of these goddamn rants. Chill the frick out, lady. Seriously. If we're on the same side, then don't be looking to take shots at somebody the moment you get your, your eyes crossed one way or the other. Calling me a gangster and shit? Really? Really? I'm sorry, I thought we all got out of fucking junior high. Maybe it's about time to stop acting it. Don't expect me to be too thrilled when somebody puts me, tries to put me on blast, and I didn't even do a damn thing. Shit. At least if I actually did something, you could turn around and say, well, yeah, that's fair, okay, maybe I fucked up. But I didn't do a damn thing to you. And I certainly didn't really bust anybody's balls except the few people that deserved it. Again, the few people that deserved it. I wasn't the only one saying it. I just... Put out a video about it because it gets freaking notice. And said people need to get their act together. Which they do. What part of that statement was false? They need Things need to be handled better. Things need to be fought out better. And people need to do a lot more thinking and a whole lot less blind reaction. You know, kind of like your stupid bullshit rant. Grow the fuck up. You're older than I am. Grow the hell up. You don't like what I have to say? Tough shit. Don't prove me right. And all of my posts are still here. The video is still there, unedited. I don't change anything. I haven't changed anything. And I will quote to you exactly what I quoted to you in response when you were deciding to be a grown-up child. Well, thank you all so much about that. No, I did not call you out. In fact, I went so far as to address your comments on that video telling you to chill out. This kind of retort is extremely disrespectful. Nothing was aimed at you. Hell, no name names were even mentioned. And as far as trying to get in with good with Katie, no, that'll be a cold day in hell before that ever happens. I haven't taken down or changed anything. I leave that stuff alone. You want to be rude and obnoxious? Fine. But if this is the attitude you're going to take, don't be surprised when people don't take you seriously or respond immediately. I did you no harm and said nothing to you, and you need to take a chill pill and be more respectful. No one has time for this childish bullshit. That video literally had nothing to do with you. Folks like Ozzy that were going out of their way to leap on information like Jamie, etc. I even responded to one of your posts to clarify. Not once, but twice, by the way. That is also in, my th in the thread as well. I don't change up anything. It's all right there, out in the open. Okay? Okay? Not cool, Kimmy. Not cool. And I'll say it again, any respect that I had for you is gone. Have fun with your hatchet fight. Okay? So if you want to trash talk, you want to start shit and stuff, that's fine. You do it with whoever. Leave me the hell out of it. Okay? Keep that disrespect in your corner. And uh, maybe you might want to kind of chill out and keep your emotions in check before you keep doing this stuff. Because it becomes really hard to back you 
when you do this. I will not be backing you in the future. I will not really be giving you the time of day or um, anything like that. I can easily agree to disagree, but when this is the action that you take, that's fine. Have fun with whatever crazy stuff you're going to do, but as far as the side goes, you're on no side. Because nobody's gonna take nobody's really taking you seriously. That's why. I've said my piece. I usually don't I do not like to do videos like this. But when I see stuff that like this that's going on, just because someone wants to be petty, I'm just going to address that really quickly. I don't put that up with that crap from Katie. I don't put up with that from her fans, from people on either side of the spectrum. I'm very blunt and to the point, and I don't take crap from anybody. It's very simple. Okay? Very simple, very to the point. This is how I've been. This is always how I've been. That's never changed. It's just blunt, obvious, and out there. Okay? So it's not like, oh, he's pulling a 180. No, don't even play that. Because I'm not. Okay? So if you want to um, keep this shit up, you're only going to make yourself look worse. Anyway, I'm done ranting about it. I've said enough about it. And, um, yeah. Uh, <sighs> guys, guys, stop the you bullshit. This kind of shit, this kind of feeding frenzy bullshit, this kind of, oh, everybody let's react to this. How about everybody let's think this through and go, you know, maybe that doesn't apply. Maybe you don't know what you... Sorry, this just gets a little bit old after a while where people are just like, hey, I'm going to go react to this. If then, if then, if then. Grown people that are older than me and should be wiser than me, acting more juvenile than I ever have. <sighs> my, my basic rule of thumb has always been very simple. You don't have to like me or hate me, you can do either one. You don't have to agree or disagree with me, you can do either one, and that's perfectly fine. You can even, you know tease or make quips about me all the time. Hell, they do it quiplash whenever we're playing on stream all the time. And I openly encourage it. Okay? But do not treat me with disrespect. And do not treat the people around me with disrespect. And that's the same whether it's anybody that is in the audience, regardless of what platform you follow, who you follow, what party you're in, etc., etc., etc. Just treat each other with respect. It's the basic main only real rule that I that I really have around here. You just river danced all over that. You've lost my respect. I know that probably doesn't mean anything, and that's fine, but don't be surprised if I don't back you at all in the future or well no, I don't think I'll have bad things to say to you, but I think you certainly won't get any defense from me. And you brought it on yourself. Not that that's a real again big Whatever. But guys, guys, this stuff right here, this bullshit right here is why people get pissed off. This bullshit right here is what mucks everything up and makes it harder to sort through A or B because all of a sudden everything's going fine and next thing you know somebody wants to start a hatchet fight. Really? Anyway. I think I'm done talking about this bullshit. But this, this, this shit's gonna stop. I don't care what side it's on. I don't care who claims to be a part of what. This is just ridiculous. I don't even know what, what more to say. I mean, Kimmy, it's not like I didn't try to be nice to you. I, I can't recall any time 
that I have been remotely disrespectful to you. I haven't, actually. So, for you to turn around like this, I, I don't get it. I don't get it, but I'm looking at your comments. I'm looking at this disgusting display in front of me. I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth it for that little pat in the back, and so that you could basically have an outlet. But I'm not your YouTube punching bag. I am not your emotional outlet. If you need one that badly, seek a therapist. Find healthier ways to unleash your anger. But not this shit. Okay? Okay, now I'm done. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. Um, oh, it's 12.42. Yeah, I won't be doing a stream tonight. Plus, look, doing a stream over this stupid shit is just not... Not really a great idea. Uh, oh, and uh, to the people that still, still apparently lack any kind of attention... Or ability to pay attention. Um, that guy bitching about her wanting her money back. Actually, if you paid attention to the goddamn video, which you probably didn't, you would see that actually, no, she said first um, she didn't want it back, then she did. That, act that clip actually came before the other ones because I forgot I even had that clip in there. Which I also did make mention on in the video. So when you guys turn around and say stuff like that, you know, I can tell right off the bat you didn't watch it or you watched it only enough to try and validate certain things within your own head. That and, of course, parroting everything that comes out of her mouth, word for word, in general. It's not very bright, and it's also, you kind of showcase really quickly that you didn't really pay attention to anything, you didn't listen to anything, you really didn't watch much of much, and you're basically into work a particular narrative. Find better arguments. Don't be a grown-up, tantruming child. And everybody else just... Chill the hell out, seriously. Stuff like this, stuff like this is the reason that I should be drinking, but I'm really glad that I'm not. And then before anybody says this is actually birch beer, what means birch beer? Not actual alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> before that rumor starts. <laughs> before it does. Because you never know. Uh, but uh, anything else I want to really get off my chest? Um, well, I do have some interesting stuff coming up. I got, uh, uh, took a day trip to Nashville, and during that time I had some nice inspiration for interactive RPG for you now. Something a little bit unique, something a little different, everything everybody can have fun with, so there's that. Um, for those of you wanting pictures of my geckos, I'll have some of that before too long. I want to get a good feeding in for them first and make sure that they're fully adjusted before I go like yanking them out of that terrain. And I think that's basically it. So uh, in final thoughts, Kimmy, knock this shit off. I thought you were a better person than this, but apparently... Apparently, I need to work on my people skills as far as people that I allow around me. Well, no, not even that. I just need to be a better judge of character, apparently. Because I thought you were better than this, apparently I was wrong. Okay. And... <sighs> Why the fuck does he say that? <laughs> uh, every time I turn around, just when I think 
that people can't sink any lower. It's like challenge accepted. I, I guess I need to stop doing that or something. I don't know. Um, get you here. I don't, I don't get it. Every time I think that I've seen the absolute limit of how fucked up people can get, how bizarre people act, and just the weird flips and turns, it's apparently challenge accepted. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know what to say. I just come right out and say whatever's on my mind. I just try, I try to bring a pr pretty balanced viewpoint to things. And I try to just basically put it out there. I don't bash on or bully on anybody, but when somebody fucks up, I definitely say something. When someone is doing something that is harmful to the community as a whole, you better believe I'm going to say something. When people are trying to put through definite, genuine criticism and their efforts are being waylaid by people that can't get their shit together, yes, I am going to say something. Is that attacking everyone? No, if you have that kind of a, uh, that kind of, uh, that lacking of a thick skin that you think every single thing around certain keywords applies to you, then quite frankly, maybe it's time for you to take a break. And chill out. Go out on a walk. Something. I don't know. Whatever it is that you do to unwind, relax, de-stress, because I know that this, how shit, how toxic this shit can get. Like I said, I tried to take an entire freaking week off, and, like, not even two days into it, I'm getting, like, 50 messages <laughs> off the fly. Of course, you know, hey, what do you expect? I mean, Philip, well, you put that out there, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> oh, so, of course, that's going to happen. It was interesting seeing my name pop up in the chamber stuff, though, because even though I have nothing to do with the Geo 5 thing whatsoever... Apparently, I'm up to something somehow. So apparently, I'm the low-budget Antichrist. No evil minions, no evil super superpowers. I don't even have ominous Latin music in the background. But I'm the Antichrist that's going that's that's responsible for all the evil in the world. Deliberate melodrama. I don't actually think this. Ah. Uh... I mean, I understand. I do understand how toxic this stuff can be. That's why we gotta take a break. And sometimes I do take breaks from time to time. Um, I was streaming almost nightly for a time, and then between not feeling well, um, sleep schedule, work schedule, and all that, that went down to one or two streams a week. And I think I may keep it ultimately to about two or three streams a week, depending on time and such. I miss my little streamers and stuff. But this stuff can get so freaking toxic that before too long, everybody on the sidelines is going, you know what, I just need a moment. <laughs> and me, I, I, I go out in nature. I, I go out in places that are quiet. I go places to reflect. Um, sometimes I take walks fairly frequently and stuff. So it's not like I'm sitting here behind the keyboard plotting the next move because that's just not a thing. I mean, I, I work most of the day. I don't have time for that. Um, I have other projects that I like and want to get involved, more involved with. People that I like to maintain contact with that have nothing to do with this or are just as fed up with it as I am. So, I hear a lot of this stuff, and I'm like, y'all need better arguments. I see a lot of this stuff, and I'm like, really? And the thing that really annoys me with this is, because it makes it hard for the stuff that I put out there to even get noticed or taken credible at all, when someone goes through and is overzealous, so they decide they're going to have a freaking conniption fit because they ran out of everything else to stream about that day. Or we got some random guy that's going to hop all over this and blast about how he's going to send Joy to prison and all this other stupid shit. No, you're not going to send Joy to prison. Get over it. So now, because that one person said he's going to send Joy to prison, now we have Joy over here in her live stream saying, Oh, there is a consolidated effort by a group of people that are going to try and send me to prison. 
No, Joy, it was one bloody person. One person is not a group. Maybe in your twisted world it is, but again, the melodrama. We try not to give people like these that are freaking delusional and paranoid and like off their rocker. We try not to give them things to work with. Because this shit happened with the special spaces, again, it could have been prevented. It could have absolutely been prevented. We saw this stuff before with, with, with uh, Jamie Fisher when she, and the funny thing is she's still going around saying, oh, I was the first person to call him out. No, that requires having, dearie, that requires having actual um, something to put out there. And you didn't. You had bullshit. So you didn't call anybody out. You actually made it harder for people to call them out. That's why I call you Joy the Second. By the way, when you get onto somebody's Twitter and you've done this like once before and that person says, we've had this conversation and it doesn't work out well. And then you turn around and say, oh, we never had this conversation before. I don't know how we met. Not a very wise idea for someone with a good memory. Okay. So stuff like this is what I was referring to in my last video. And this is not rocket science. This is not a hard thing to figure. You actually just have to sit down and think about it and not react. And if there's one pet peeve I have, it's people that just blindly react to stuff. Life is not a stimulus reaction, folks. If then, if then, if then, if then, if then. That's like a defunct robot. We're human beings. We're better than this shit. And I don't care if you don't like it or not. Some people need to grow the fuck up. Most of us are adult age. It's probably about time that some of us started acting it. And I'm not perfect. Great. I get that. But there's only so many times that excuse is going to fly. <sighs> people, 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 people. So. Again, and I said this before in the last video, and I'm going to say it again, just because someone is out to get joy does not mean we're going to get along. It doesn't mean that I don't like people that don't get along with joy. That doesn't mean that at all. There are plenty of people that I that don't like joy that I get along with perfectly fine. They just don't do stupid asinine bullshit like this. Okay? It's very simple. Very simple. And when I see people that are just overzealously looking for anything just so they can say that they were on the roster to throw the stone in the... Uh, uh, that only hurts everything as a whole. People take everything else that less seriously. So now everything that was released before that, she's going to turn around and say, Oh, that was just another part of this. And the people that just eat up every word they said that she says, guess what? They're going to just believe it. So everything the day the, the 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 time that I put in even even though the production was a disaster all the effort that I that I did put into that video could be very well made useless all the time and effort that people have have took everything that other people have gone through and then more to get just to put their story out there only to watch it get spun again why because one person couldn't exhibit the self control to think things through and say you know, maybe I should take a few more days and research this a little more carefully, make sure before I put something out there that it is legitimate. All those people then get hurt in the process because that one person or two people or three people decided that they wanted to be a little shit. Pardon me if I'm not a little bit pissed off about that. And I'm not the only one. Okay? I, I, know, I know I'm not the only one, because I've been hearing about it. I'm the one that will outright say it. If you don't like me for it, well, tough shit, don't shoot the messenger, but even still, you're entitled to your opinion, just don't be an asshole about it. Getting in my face about it and trying to throw crazy accusations my way just makes you look, just makes you look lousy. No gaslighting to that, by the way, because I'm waiting for that one to pop up. By the way, Speaking of words and phrases that people use that they don't know what the hell they mean, to you idiots that keep going around and saying that 
my video is slander? <laughs> there is no bigger way to make yourself look like a complete moron than to accuse a person of slander when they put up the words of the person in question right up on the screen in front of you. Are you telling me that I possessed her and made her put that up there? Perhaps I hacked Facebook even though I have not even the HTML skills to update a freaking web page. I know, maybe I contacted her angels and made them make her do it. Lord knows they tried to supposedly make her do everything else, including every bad decision she's ever made. Up until last year, by the way. So it was not a recent change. It changed when she got criticism, but what else is new? Katie lying is like, literally, that's like saying that there's sand in the desert. That's nothing new. Um... I know, maybe you're telling me that she slandered herself because it's her words up there on the screen. So pardon me if I think you're really, really pathetic when you, when you throw that accusation at me. It also tells me that that's a knee-jerk stimulus response because you don't want to have to admit that the person you chose isn't what you thought they were. Well, they're, they're a person capable of good and evil. Welcome to the real world. Okay. That, that That's something that is ever-present, no matter what smile they put on their face. Okay? Any person could have a smile on their face and sweet talk you. That doesn't mean they're as sweet as you think they are. And quite frankly, you don't know that person. You just got emotionally sucked in. So, by coming at me, if you're actually going to come my way and throw criticism my way, that's fine. Don't try the leave your social justice warrior-like tactics at the door. Because I can recognize them, I will call them out, and I will say what you're doing, why, and how. Okay? And actually have something to, to come at me with. You know, other than fingernails, and uh, I don't like the way his voice sounds. Well, that's a preference thing. The world doesn't give a shit, neither do I. I don't like my voice some days. But, you know, I get over it. Takes all of, what, five seconds? Maybe. The rest of the world takes even less than that, so, you know. Production quality? Yeah, yeah, I can understand. At least that one I could understand. Okay? At least. But slander? God, guys, you need better arguments. And you need arguments that ain't something that she repeats over and over again just because you saw one of her live streams and got riled up, so this is how it must be. No, it's not. You just make yourself look like an idiot to the rest of the intelligent world. And not even with me, because ultimately my opinion doesn't mean much, much. Again, I'm just a random dude on the internet with a camera in front of him. And that's really it. It's nothing really super special about that. So it's always interesting to hear what comes out of people's mouths when they're trying to support this crazy lady. But, alright, I think I've covered all my bases right now. Uh, as far as what I actually wanted to get off my chest. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Because if I'm going to do it, I might as well just do it all in one take and just get it out of my system. And just get it out in front of here. Um... Oh, one thing that I definitely want to add, because it's funny. Um, recently, Katie said that she doesn't harass people. Actually, she said this a few times, although she turned around and posted something on Nick Ma. Actually, asked for people, for her fans, to do something so that she could have something to throw at Nick Ma. And uh, it was a lol cow journalism degree. Well, Katie, I hate to break it to you. But that lol cow journalism degree is still more credible than any form of journalism you claim to display. You're not a journalist. You're just another random person on the internet yelling at a mic. In front of a camera. You're not a journalist. Hell, me talking about this! I'm not a journalist! Neither one of us are journalists. That's just freaking ego on your part. Oh, I'm some big person. No, you're not. You have a lot of subscribers. Great job. Great job. I'm glad you got a lot of subscribers. Uh, good job for that. Um, but there are a couple of things you're not. Um, 
Nobody is really jealous of you. Actually, I think there are plenty of people that are glad they're not you for one reason or another. I'm certainly not jealous of you. I, I don't mind having a smaller channel. Okay? Uh, I, I don't really... See, you care about the fame and attention. You spend all of your live streams focused on you. My live streams are focused on everything else. Occasionally on you, but uh, that's because, well, I, I get that out of everybody's system. We start, so the first half part of that deals with that, if it even pops up, even if it's needed. And then from there we play games, we do other things. Guess what? Our world does not revolve around you. My world doesn't revolve around you. I'm sick of your shit, but really, that, who isn't these days? <sighs> so, jealous? Of what? What business is ever going to hire you again? And don't tell me you're too sick to work. Because I doubt that very much making cross-country trips. Well, not cross-country, but cross-state. After this, though, they, they'll, they'll look at your Twitter, they'll look at your feeds, and they'll go, we ain't touching that with an 80-foot pole. Okay? They can look at my feeds, and they're going to be like, yeah, okay. They might ask me a few questions, but ultimately, I'll be fine. You can't lie or embellish your way out of that. And the first time I hear you talk about shit talkers and haters, no matter what a pretty face, they're going to be like, I see, Miss Smith, uh, thank you for your time. We'll get back to you and let you know. And then they'll see your this obsessive behavior, and they'll be like, forget that. So, me jealous of you? No. Me interested in you? <laughs> oh, God, it's that ego. No. I've seen how you treated your ex-boyfriends. No, thank you. No, thank you. Dodged a bullet there. A few times, apparently. So, you're running out of excuses to use. You're just making a fool out of yourself. And there are a few other people on the opposing side that are currently making a fool of themselves. Which, whatever, they're going to do what they're going to do, and that's fine. Me, I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do for the most part, which is, for the most part, hopefully actually start to be moving past some of this. And I keep saying it. It's really fucking with my whole thing of uh, trying to be consistent. Because I'm sitting here saying, oh, I don't plan for K-series. And next thing you know, oh, hey, here's another video about this bullshit. So, I mean, anybody that wants to criticize me on that, feel free. Because, you know, oh, well, you know, I can't really say for free. But, because uh, it keeps popping up. But I figure at least I keep all this stuff together. And kind of lump it all in that way. I can just get it out there and be done with it. Hopefully. All in all, though, my little four-day week, I'm going to try and, and, and kind of maintain for these next couple of uh, days, barring other people doing really dumbass things. Even leaving people alone, I'm getting in trouble. Jesus. <sighs> God's people, I swear. <sighs> and for the record, no, I'm not like freaking out or depressed or anything like that. I've had a couple of people ask. That's why I'm addressing that here. I'm in good spirits. I'm doing well. I'm sleeping well. I still have that annoying freaking cough because for whatever reason, whenever I get sick, that's the one thing that apparently wants to stay until the sec until the next ice age or heat death of the universe, whichever you prefer. So, uh, it's annoying. All that aside, though, all that annoyance aside, everything else is going well. So, um, that, uh, yeah, no, that's it. That's it. I've let this video drag on long enough, and 40 minutes is just whatever. I like to keep them down, but at least I got some stuff out of the way. Hopefully that clarifies things. If not, I will clarify in the comments. I have no problem doing that. And again, you will not see me deleting any of my comments, good, bad, ugly, or otherwise, because I leave it up there for anyone to see. 
this is present out of all of my videos. Every last one of them. So please, the next time you're going to make accusations, actually have something to use, one. And two, find better arguments. Or at least, at least make something humorous. Throw in a little bit of uh, humor or something there, because man, y'all guys are a tough crowd. I mean, it's like all, there's like almost no humor. So at least throw something silly my way, jeez. I mean, the worst you could really say about me at this point is that I'm funny looking, and I'll give you that one. I've only had, you know, X amount of years looking into a mirror, waking up every single day, to, to kind of figure that one out, and you know, even that's not a big deal. I'm not as funny well, It's debatable how funny looking I am compared to other people, because that just depends on the day and the person. I'm like, hey, you know, maybe not so bad. Then I'm like, I did not wake up looking good this morning. Nope, 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 nope. But, you know, it is what it is. That's the worst I have to worry about. Great day. There are plenty of people that have it so much worse. Anyway. Uh, all right. So, have a good night, everybody. Have a good rest of the week, everybody. And hopefully, people will get their heads out of their collective asses on all sides. The people that it applies to. Not everybody, for crying out loud. Stop thinking in freaking extremes and absolutes. What one person says does not apply to the entire whole. Novel concept, imagine that. But I guess that kind of sucks because then it won't give certain people something to react to. And Katie, seek mental help for that paranoid delusional fantasy of yours. I'm not out to get you. There is no consolidated effort and you have no mystery information. You've been saying that for months. It's not there. I said stuff, I put up. You're still being an asshole. Probably a good time. This is probably a good time to stop doing that. Not double down and triple down with more lies. You've already dug yourself a deep enough hole. It's just time to stop the bullshit. Night, everybody. Take care. If you're having a bad day, I hope you have a good one. If you're already having a good day, I hope you only have a better one. Peace out.